structure and so on okay, These are the uh, workers Okay, uh, first they, they live up to 60 days uh. 60 days, one worker That's the lifespan of a worker That's why a colony okay, must have a very strong queen You have to Otherwise, okay, the replacement worker will not be done properly Okay so they are the female component of the colony, okay, apart from the queen. Uh, <coughs> so they develop from hatch larva hatch from fertilized eggs. Okay. Uh, so you can see okay, the number okay, five day they big uh, uh, after they uh, fertilize and then they become the larva up to ten days. Okay. Uh, and then pupa 31 days okay and then they are the adult so their role okay will be determined based on the days i will show i will explain that later lah. okay and then these are the uh, role okay uh, like build maintain cleaning the hive okay cleaning <coughs> uh, like uh, taking out of all the waste from the hive okay they go uh, foraging collect the uh, necessities like the resin pollen and uh, and also the nectar or the honey so receive and store and maturing the honey okay develop and store the bee bread thermogulating the hive means that they do play a role in controlling the temperature okay thermogulating uh, one study say uh, if they ha the temperature is too high, they will together flap their wings, uh, so to promote the air circulation. Okay, and also they okay uh, the one of the defense uh, uh, important defense uh, or the uh, for defense for of the hive, they will immediately attack. Okay, people who like a uh, threat or something. Okay. So these are the role based on the days, okay. Uh, <coughs> and so one to two days after they be, be, uh, they will be uh, building the nest. Or so this this time they do not have the capability to fly, uh, okay. The, the the this is when the time they like have the full capa capability to fly, okay. Less than this day, they, they maybe they can fly, but mostly most of them they they still tr fl learning how to fly. Okay, so you can spot them. Uh, as, uh, uh, for example, during uh, harvest, when during harvest, uh, immediately as, uh, the bee will okay, try to uh, defend the colony, and some will come out. And when they fall down on the ground, they cannot fly. Those are the uh, young workers. Nah. So we have to help them with that. You have to pick and then put it back into the hive. Okay. So these are the role based on the days. Okay. Uh, these are the drone. Uh, they are very important for the reproduction. Uh, without them, there is no reproduction. Okay. So they, they mate with the queen. Okay, then uh, developed from unfertilized egg, uh, and uh, they said they are die will die immediately after mating with the queen. Okay, uh, okay. So they, they so they, uh, these are the comparison. Uh, the, this is uh, the queen. Okay, this is the male, and also the workers. The male is in the middle lah, uh, the size. Queen is more, of course, the big, the biggest one. Okay, so those are the uh, uh, okay, and also there's one thing I want to explain is this swarming. Swarming is one of the important behavior. Like I told you, like the question uh, come uh, related to the question that whether there is a two queen. When there's another queen, uh, the biggest possibility is the new queen will migrate. Great and bring together with the uh, uh, workers, okay, 
It's because they use the pheromones. This uh, phenomena is called as swarming, swarming, colonial reproduction. It happened in the uh, nat uh, nature and also happened uh, uh, in here, okay, a few times. So here uh, I will show you, okay, uh, a swarming uh, process of swarming, single colony split into two or more distinct colonies, okay. Uh, this is a uh, swarming happened uh, early this year into an empty hive okay I have an empty hive so that empty hive basically I was using it I was saving it to for for other other new hive lah if want to transfer the hive into that empty box but I was lucky uh, there's a new colony came and enter the empty hive okay, they are swarming trying to get into empty box you see this is called as swarming they want they are very density is high okay. they two they are already a bit calm Now this could happen to the existing hive or active hive. It could happen. So some, okay, most of the farmer think that this is an attack. The the new all uh, swarm try to take over. Yeah. So uh, there is a way how to uh, avoid the swarming uh, to the existing hive uh, by putting a piece of barrier or oh, use, use a uh, paper put the barrier so the swarm that coming try to enter the existing hive they will become you know confused they cannot locate where is the entrance okay but this is well, empty hive it's okay huh? you see First day is very intense. Okay. Uh, this this time the new the new queen or the virgin queen still can fly, and you hard to see lah. Okay. If you have super uh, visual eyes, you can see. But basically, the new queen can still can fly and go into the hive, and then the other. Uh, workers and mobile. Okay, but there are a few other process after this. Uh, the other process to uh, success uh, swarming. The second step, the drone will come. This is all uh, queen and the workers. Later, the drone will come. Well, if the drone come, and uh, so they indicate the success uh, swarming. Now uh, this hive uh, is already active. And one of the also uh, important behavior is foraging. Foraging, they uh, collect plant resin, nectar, pollen, sand, and others, like I explained. Okay, so, so, so they do communicate with each other. Okay, to uh, in uh, during foraging, uh, you can read from my slide later for further uh, study. So they they use uh, signals and cues, like signal they they ex they excrete the uh, pheromone or chemical the workers lah into a certain spot when they landed into the hive. So the other worker will like figure out. So they figure out from the pattern, and then they okay they they will tell the the other worker will tell the uh, the workers that have done the foraging will tell the other workers by uh, using the signal okay uh, so uh, the, the, the other workers or other members will try to uh, translate the the pattern lah. The, 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 the signal basically tells which how far uh, which direction you should go and so on so they, they are study but uh, honeybee lah, the honeybee the, the uh, 
uh, scientists broke the uh, <coughs> the code signaling of honeybee but i think it's maybe similar to stingless bee lah and also cues they use the um, sunlight to tell them where to go okay so this is the range okay uh, they active from dawn to dusk okay, early morning until late in the afternoon lah. okay they, they are active in that uh, air, uh, time and like itama they can go up to one kilometer radius okay thoracica can go up to two kilometer some say four kilometer I, okay um, so this is what uh, the testimony or the study suggests okay how do they call, how do they determine maybe maybe they they determine by uh, moving the hive see whether the bee can come back to the original position maybe i don't know <laughs> okay 